Post taking it. Two schools in Nevada County may shock you. They show exposed electrical wires, bad repairs, even potential safety hazards on children's play equipment. KCRA 3 Sharakina Sham shows us a grand jury investigation and the response, or lack of it, from top school officials. Pictures taken by a grand jury show rot on a foundation, mold repairs not done right, exposed electrical wire, flammable chemicals in an open cabinet with no warning posted. And look at this. That's an electrical box sitting on top of a children's playground. It's uh, highly dangerous and I wouldn't want my kid around it either. It's criminal. It's absolutely criminal. I don't like it at all. I think our school should be clean. I think it should be mold free. Some of these pictures were taken at Grass Valley Charter School, others at Bell Hill Academy. Both are part of the Grass Valley School District, which is overseen by the Nevada County Superintendent of Schools. The grand jury calls them, quote, hazardous conditions and dangerous health and safety issues. The school district refused to comment, saying officials haven't had a chance to review the report. But the report says these photos look a lot like others taken a full four years ago. Pretty hard not to notice that. I mean, there's wood rotted out on the playset. Nevada County Superintendent of Schools Holly Hermanson refused to talk on camera today, at first telling us she hasn't thoroughly reviewed the grand jury's report yet. When we pressed her for an answer about the conditions at the schools, she eventually said she doesn't believe the conditions are her responsibility. But the grand jury says Hermanson is responsible for visiting the schools, something the report says she hasn't been doing. According to the report, she told the grand jury she didn't know she was supposed to visit schools and didn't know state law having to do with these conditions. In Grass Valley, Shadok Nashams, KCRA 3 News. Now, this whole investigation with the grand jury began after someone complained, and so now the county superintendent and the Grass Valley School District have to submit a written response by September 1st.